So, how has your day been so far? Um, oh, so good. I mean, Brighton. Yeah. <laughs> I, had fish and, I had fish and chips at the Regency down the road. Um, my dad lives here, so I got to see my dad and stuff. And a couple of beers. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. So, you're going to know the crowd then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of friends coming down? Um, I don't know. Well, Dan, the, our guitarist, he... Uh, he lives in Brighton and I think he's got quite a few friends coming down but it's unfortunate you can't buy tickets for the just just yeah. for one show you have to buy a full weekend pass and mm. I mean unless you live in Brighton I think you know people are not really sure I'm gonna get five guests at this so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. That's bad. so you finished your tour you were on tour with Hull how was that uh, oh that was incredible um, oh, how was that? To, to play Brixton Academy with your idol do you know it's, you can get better than that incredible but uh, now we're on tour doing the new TQ tour uh, which finishes at the garage on Tuesday and uh, with two amazing bands one called Gold Hawks and mm -hmm. the other one's the Detroit Social Club and they have learned a huge amount from them because uh, because they play at such a high standard you know we and we're in the middle of them mm -hmm. and I'm a girl and these are all guys I've got to you know <laughs> represent up a bit. Yeah. And, and literally in four shows with I think we've literally quadrupled by 400% uh, <laughs> our, um, our sort of act and stuff. I think we're much better, much more confident as well. Cool. Um, so did you get to meet Courtney Love then? I didn't. I didn't want to. <laughs> At any opportunity there was to meet her, I hid and ran. <laughs> I don't know. We, like, you know, we've got to watch her sound check and everything, but because she's my idol, my <laughs> idol, I want her to be on that pedestal. Still, I don't want to be disappointed. What if she's not as mad as she is, but she seems pretty mad. So I don't think I would have been. I was just a bit terrified that she wouldn't like me. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Don't be silly. Um, so, yeah, you've been touring for a while. Any tracks that you really enjoy playing live? Um, yeah, we're actually playing a new track called I'm the Blaze, um, which is vocally really hard for me to sing. Um, but I, th I think it's the best track we've got and, and since having that track in the set my confidence has grown because I know that wait for this track to come up and I feel so, so cool that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got your new single coming out. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen the video. I think it was shot in, in the States. In, in the States. It's called On Your Head. Mm -hmm. and uh, On Your Knocker. And uh, <laughs> it was shot in the States um, in the desert. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's coming... Out this month, yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm um, kind of, I'm really excited for that, but I'm a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, is it one of your favorite songs on the album? Mm, to play live, it's one of my favorite. Um, you know, I pick up an acoustic guitar and it's quite a lively sort of song. But mm -hmm. uh, um, and I love the sort of like country riffs behind it and stuff like that. Um, but on the album, it, it's not slow or moany enough to be one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Is that what you like then? Yeah. <laughs> What's important to you when you're writing songs? Um, just to, I mean, you know, some people say lyrics, some people say tune, but for me, I guess it's to, whenever I write a song, I really mean it, and I think it's to portray exactly the way, the same way I felt as I was writing it, so when someone listens to it, they you know, either relate to or, you know, understand exactly how I felt just by the whole sort of feeling, I guess, tune and lyrically, mm -hmm. um, as I felt when I wrote it, especially the down songs. Yeah. <laughs> Have you started writing new material then, since you've been on tour and all that? Uh, not, we haven't really been finishing songs, but I've started writing with the band and stuff like that, which is really nice, because the last album, no, this album, last album, yeah. is completely on my own, and, um, so now I've got the boys with me. It, it's just cool to get their personalities involved, and they're all into you know completely different music. Like our bassist Dave, he um, is very into techno. Techno Dave. Dan's very into you know sort of I guess Radiohead, New yeah. Order, and, and uh, Ruse into some stuff. Well, he was in a band called Captain, and he's very into a band called School of Seven Bells and like loads of eighties shit. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, so you know, having all, all our personalities involved is quite cool, I think. And um, we started writing some stuff. We don't rehearse, we write. <laughs> That's cool. What do you uh, listen to at the moment? Ooh, uh, you know, 
I listen to, I've got quite, I think it's called, I've got quite an eclectic taste in music and um, I've been listening to a lot of Wu-Tang Clan just, you know, to get my pop on. <laughs> um, uh, Bell and Sebastian, I love that band. Uh, and The Stillers, I bought um, well, their old album, Coral Fang, because um, I love Brady Armstrong's voice and stuff and, I, you know, I can take a bit of that, you know, uh, just you know, just take a few ideas and use her as an influence for the way I use my voice and stuff. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the band. And who else? Who else did I buy? You know what? Anytime I go running, which yeah. is not often, it's more <laughs> eating, uh, I Limp Biscuit Chocolate Starfish. I bought it when I was horrendously drunk and I was showing off to someone who wasn't impressed really they're like oh this isn't metal what is this where can we catch you are you going to be doing any festivals this summer yep i'm playing glastonbury um i think i'm playing i don't know if i'm supposed to say this yet but uh two days at v festival mm. Mm, which would be incredible um and then obviously great escape now and, and and a few others are lined up as well i think i'm playing on the same stage as peter andre wow i think that's like hyde park <laughs> calling i'm not sure if it's called hyde park calling but yeah in hyde park yeah that's gonna be your highlight yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, i'm kind of excited so just so i can get his autograph and be like look, look who i'm at <laughs> <laughs> and a picture yeah <laughs> i reckon he'll look good in a picture <laughs> oh, i just want to ask him if his chest is real or not Can I, can I burn it? So if it bubbles. <laughs> What you're looking forward to most this summer? Mm, I guess gigging. We've got into like a big cycle of touring, just mm -hmm. been away for a long time, and apart from having a break, uh, gigging and just getting better and better, and obviously having the album out, um, just coming out this summer in June, I think, or July. It's always been, it's always changing, um, but. Yeah, I guess having my album out and stuff, there's quite a lot of songs in there that I'd like my friends to hear that they haven't, so don't have a copy of it. I gave my copy of the album away, and <laughs> I thought it was being really Smart, nice. yeah. Not just incredibly drunk. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there's a few songs in that that I desperately want my friends to hear that they haven't heard yet, and um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Are there any plans for you to go overseas? No, not yet, but um, Japan, anyone? 